Hello, folks. I'm sure you have backups in your environments. Do you have a process to see all of your resource? Which ones are protected? Which ones are not? Well, if you do, this is the video for you. We're joined by Aruna Sumandra, the principal PM for the Azure backup team. And we're going to talk about that right now. Good morning, Arona. How are you? Good morning, Pierre. I'm doing good. Thank you. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. So I hear that Azure Backup Center is a big thing. Can you tell mm -hmm. us about it? Sure. Azure Backup Center is a single pane of glass in Azure for managing all things backup. It helps customers ensure that they can optimize their backup management in a super easy manner, as well as make sure it is performant and helps them optimize their entire data protection need. Okay. Um, Azure, okay. And Azure Backup Center helps customers with four key pivots. One is in terms of governance. You have large deployments in your organization. You want to make sure that the same rules around compliance, the same mechanisms of data protection for different types of workloads or applications are ensured across your entire organization. Azure Backup Center helps you do governance for backup perspective in a very, very simple manner. The other aspect it helps you with is monitoring. Uh, for anyone in the backup space, you will know that tracking backup related tasks, whether it is your backups, making sure your backups are fa passing, making sure you're alerted when there's a failure, making sure your stores are successful are super, super important. So Azure Backup Center helps you with all your monitoring needs at scale across an entire distributed environment. Similarly, for any kinds of operations that you are doing with respect to a backup management, whether it is a one-time backup that you're doing, whether it is a restore that you're doing, whether it is a new configuration that you're doing, Azure Backup Center has one single place that you would go to for you know configuring backups or any of these tasks across whichever workloads you're protecting. And lastly, Azure Backup Center has a whole bunch of insights that it provides you with so that you can look at trends information and statistical information over a period of time and then use that information to have insights that help you drive further optimizations uh, in terms of your backup management. So overall, Azure Backup Center, one single place in Azure from one single pane of glass, you can govern, monitor, operate, and get insights on backup, helping you Focus on your core organizational goals while not worrying about data protection. Okay. Uh, that sounds wonderful. Uh, I'm very interested in two parts uh, for this particular video here uh, that you mentioned. One is the resources. So is there a way, the, what's the, the, the process for discovering uh, resources that need to be backed up? Like, if we're in cloud and I've got team members that are spinning out servers or spinning out um, services, how do I make sure that somebody else's server uh, actually shows up on my radar if I'm responsible for backup so that I can set up the proper um, the, the, the proper backup routines? Awesome. Let me show you quickly how Backup Center helps you with that. Right? Okay. If how you can actually get a view of those resources that you talked about, which you want to ensure are actually being protected or not. So if you come into the Backup Center, the first thing that you will see in the overview is a view of your entire estate that you have access for. And it shows you some quick summary on the jobs and the virtual machines that are actually being protected. What okay. you also see on the left nav under policy and compliance is something called protectable data sources. If you go into this view, what it actually shows you is the set of virtual machines that have not been configured for backup. So these are virtual machines that have suddenly gotten spun up by somebody. Uh, these are something that have missed an Azure policy that you have set, for example, because it didn't meet the criteria. So you have one single place. You come here, look at your view, you see, oh, there are 15 virtual machines that are not protected. And then you can actually go and take corrective action and just choose to back them up. Or you can go into the resource, look at what that VM is doing, and then figure out whether you want to back up or you want to exclude it. So that's how Backup Center helps you get that view. 
Okay, so if you've got an environment that has like both production uh, workloads and development or testing workloads, uh, you can filter on those and make sure that you're only protecting uh, the ones that are that are like requiring a uh, backup, correct? Correct, absolutely. So one of the really good things that Backup Center helps you with is a lot of our filters, pretty much all our filters are based on properties of the actual data source that you are uh, interested in. So in this case, if these are virtual machines, you can actually filter on the tags and you can say, okay, I am interested in uh, making sure that uh, I am uh, you know, only wanting to see if there are any policy test VMs that have not been protected. And okay. uh, so I can say, okay, there's not, nothing available, but then I can look at and say, okay, if it's a production VM, it definitely, it's a demo I'm doing. I wanna make sure that it's definitely backed up. Um, then I can actually go filter on that tag and it will show me the view. In okay. this case, I guess I don't have resources matching tags, but you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, uh, that's perfect actually. Uh, that uh, As long as the, people to create the resources, put the proper tags on it, which yes. leads me to the next point. Mm -hmm. uh, is there a way to ensure when the uh, machines or the resources are created uh, mm -hmm. that they're automatically um, enrolled in, in Backup Center? Absolutely. So um, in terms of being enrolled for Backup Center, uh, in terms of getting the overall views, in terms of having a view into your backup estate, there's other than you as a backup admin, having backup admin access onto that subscription, there's no additional enrollment that you have to do. Okay. Having said that, if your question was, uh, what do I need to do to configure backup the moment a VM comes up, then yes, there are Azure policies that you can go define and assign and stuff like that. Okay. So do I have to go back into the Azure policy um, service or oh, I, oh, I see it right there on in your screen, Azure policies yes. for backup? Absolutely. So one of the fundamental philosophies for Backup Center is that everything you want to do with backup are available for you in one single place. So you might be using Azure policy for all your management, governance and deployment needs. And you can do the same task that I'm going to show you even from the Azure policy experience. All that we've done and we help you do with Backup Center is when you click on Azure policies for backup, it actually seamlessly is opening up the same Azure policies experience, but it's kind of filtered for backup. Okay. So if you went on Azure policy and did a filter for backup, whatever you would see, it's exactly the same things that you would see with your category being filtered on backup. And then you see all your policies and you can assign them accordingly. Uh, yep. So we've we've looked at uh, governance so or, or policies. Uh, we've looked at uh, onboarding or identifying resources that are not um, protected. Uh, what about, you mentioned earlier, uh, reporting and and um monitoring how do i get the is it or is this just in the overview that the, the monitoring or is there more uh in terms of uh, uh alerting okay let me talk about that so there are a couple of aspects to that uh some of which is available today and some of which will keep coming later uh what you see in the overview is like a quick glance of what the most important things are. So it shows you in the last 24 hours, uh, a slice and dice in terms of what is interesting for you. So how many have completed, how many are in progress, how many failed. If there was any restores you triggered, it will show you right there. So you have all of that as a quick glance. In addition, you can either click here and look at details of those, or you can go into the job sphere and then do further filters to kind of say, okay, for the last two weeks, show me the job information and I get some further details from there. So that's that's one mechanism uh, that you have for uh, monitoring your jobs. Okay. Okay. Now you also asked about alerts. So let me talk about alerts as well. Uh, what we have in Backup Center right now is the view of mo uh, monitoring where we are showing the jobs. Alerts integration is not yet in Backup Center. Um, and when I mean uh, it's not yet in Backup Center, it means we are not showing the view of the alerts 
whatever are the alerts that you've already configured will continue to work but it's something that we're actively working on in terms of adding that capability very shortly where you can also see alerts surface up through backup center okay uh that's that's wonderful uh let me touch back on protectable resource uh, data sources because i just thought of something what is considered a protectable data source or do we just say all vms or what about uh vms with sql or sql as a service or uh postgres or any kind of those databases that we're uh, providing service for great question so uh if you have a you know if you notice over here you have this data source type filter and what we do is for all of the workloads that azure backup supports we have an ability to filter on that and you know have further information so for example if i chose postgre um okay maybe in the subscription i don't have postgre let me see if i have okay let, let's choose blobs right yep. um uh, azure backups recently released in preview the support for blob backup now what we do is we will uh, show you all of the storage accounts where you do not have any azure blobs configured for backup so we're not going to show you uh, saying okay here is this particular blob that is not getting protected or anything of that sort our mechanisms for blob backup will focus on the storage account and so in the protectable data source we will say here are the storage accounts that you have that have no azure uh, blobs that are configured for backup and if you click backup then immediately it takes you to the configure backup workflow for blobs that you can then go select Okay, and this list of protectable data sources, uh, is it uh, finite or is it, uh, is it gonna grow as more services are onboarded? Great question again. Uh, we are planning to keep increasing more workloads to ensure that our customers who are betting on Azure have the choice of native data protection in Azure. So we just released uh, Azure disks to be generally available uh, we have blobs in preview. We have Postgre in preview. Um, we're also working on other workloads, so you will see this list increase. Okay. So Aruna, that was uh, a lot of information uh, and definitely uh, a lot of things for us to to think about when we're managing our environment. Uh, so thank you very much for uh, this uh, overview of Backup Center, and we will see you back here. Uh, for maybe a bit more uh, in details of uh, some of those capabilities. So thank you very much for taking the time. Perfect. Thank you so much. And for you watching at home, uh, make sure to keep track of this channel and all of the information uh, about the documentation and uh, relevant information is going to be uh, down here in the description of this video. So thank you very much and uh, we'll see you later.